Hey, what's going on? Now, you guys, I know it's coming at late night, but it's some tea that I have to tell y'all, okay? So I have video footage, oh, huh, of uh, R. Kelly. He is, uh, he got uh, arrested, okay? So I'm going to play the video. You guys can see firsthand he's in the blue coat. He got out the van. Look at him. The news reporters, look, that's, that's Kels. He's, he got arrested. He, he went in. He's going in. He's going in. Lord have mercy. This is going to be a trial for the summer. I mean, is it really going to go to trial, do you guys think? Do y'all think he's just going to get arrested and put in jail and it's going to be the end of it? Or do you think it's going to be more? This is, damn, this is on YouTube. Don't you hate when shit pop up like this? <laughs> Fuck. Um, so these are some pictures. We're going to go to the pictures now. So I'm on Instagram on uh, Kyle's page. And these are some pictures. As you guys can see, the paparazzi was getting a close up. That's him in the blue. What do you guys think he's thinking at this moment? He's th he seems like, because you know the people say he's bipolar, right? That he has two personalities. Like the person that be having sex with the other girls, like he's somebody else. Um, and then... When he's not being that, like, he's a different person. Because we heard multiple stories of, like, K. Michelle, um, his kids, his wife would say he's very nice and sweet. So you never think that he turns into this other person. Like, he's bipolar. Like, it's for real. So it's like, is this the face of the man that's the nice one? Or is this just the face of the, the evil Knievel one, you know? It don't matter. Your ass going away. <laughs> Lock both of their asses up. You know why? Because a good face knew all the while that the bad face was doing all this bad shit. You see what I'm saying? The good face knew about this. The good could have prevented the bad face and said, we're going to stop, you know? We got so much that God has blessed us with. It's so much that we can do, but in turn, we want the bad face want to harm and hurt other people. It's almost like he had, you know, an angel and a demon inside of him fighting amongst each other. One, you know, because they say demons love innocence, right? And they love to prey on innocence. And imagine all these young girls he is fucking up mentally, families and stuff like that. So demons, they want to destroy, they, they go after the fucking youth. They figure these grown ass people are, they do self torment themselves. You know, a lot of grown people, they feel like the demons coming out of them. But honestly, a lot of people, they, they got them self torment. You know what I'm saying? They, they sabotage their own self. The demons ain't even worried about their ass, but the demons is definitely want to come for the innocent of the kids. Cause that's innocent. They don't know. So if they can get the kids at a young age and fuck them up, um, as they grow, they will always have that seed of, you know, destruction, self-destruction, low self-esteem, low confidence, not self-loving, always feeling that you need to prove. Those are all seeds planted. Okay. That is all fear. That is not, that's not love. But then we know that the good face of R. Kelly, he can write a song, they say, that can inspire so many millions. I believe I can fly. Remember that, y'all? I believe I can touch the sky. Okay? <laughs> I dream about it every night and day. <laughs> yeah. Baby, when I tell you, everybody and their mama was singing that song. He can sing gospel songs. So as much as he can reach people for the good, he also have reached and hurt many girls and little boys. Oh, yes, let's not forget. We have heard stories amongst stories that not only, you know, was he doing this to girls, but he was doing it for the little boy. It don't matter. They all human and innocent in young minds that he wanted to destroy and they said that he had a fetish for dominating. You know, he treated him like shit. He talked to him like shit. Um, they would have to have his permission for every little thing. Like they have slaves and stuff like that. And brainwash him so, so much 
where they 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 goddamn worship him like he's God. For real, this is a goddamn religion cult situation going on. And we knew that because that's what we've seen in the titles before. I think that's the cult. You know, you have men out here and women that want people to worship them, and it's a sexual fetish. Now, he going around here shitting on bitches and peeing on people, and they loving it, eating it up like it's the best McDonald's they ever had. It's, I don't, you know what? I'm not here to judge. If you like it, go ahead. Woo! But um, let's go on to this next picture, as we can see. Make sure y'all comment. We, It's important. You know, we are the party crashers. So we have to come in, and we are a community amongst ourselves. So those comments, and we going back and forth, you know, those are, it, it helps, you know, to see like-minded people and we having conversations about this because we still need to have more conversations because it's not only chaos we got uncles like this aunties like this mothers like this fathers like this he is a father so we want you guys to comment let us know what y'all think about this i know i can get what long-winded but i'm about to get my ass out of here I know it's late night, but I just had to show y'all this tea tonight. It couldn't wait till the morning. All right? So I love y'all. Be safe. You guys are amazing. You guys are powerful. You know? Believe in yourself. And I will see you guys sooner than later. Bye.